Hello, my name is Winifred Breen. I am taking FMS 100 and I'm doing the, my Unit 7 report on Charlton Heston. So I'm going to give a little bit of background information on the actor before I jump into the requirements from the report. So, Charlton Heston was an actor who was born in 1923 and passed away in 2008 in Beverly Hills. He is an older actor compared to where we are now in time. Um, a lot of his movies were popular in the early to late 1950s to the um, mid to late 1970s and 1980s. So LAMagazine.com describes him almost as an anti-Brando, as in Marlon Brando, of course, um, and quotes that he is the vision of what heroic manhood should be like forever. So that obviously paints a picture of kind of this very masculine, um, clean cut, straightforward type of actor, almost like a Ronald Reagan type. Some of his movies include The Ten Commandments from 1956, Planet of the Apes from 1963, Soylent Green from 1973, and Ben-Hur from 1959, which accumulated a total of 11 Academy Awards, including Best Actor for Heston. Okay, so now getting into the requirements. So his techniques. Um, it is quoted from that same LA magazine um, that he embraced historical research, saying that, quote, method acting was a lot of fun, but you don't accomplish much. So as you can tell from a lot of his, the movies that he's done, he's done Mos um, the, T the Ten Commandments, as mentioned. He's also done The Greatest Story Ever Told, um, Antony and Cleopatra, among other sort of historical um, type movies. So he does not partake in method acting, but he mainly um, embraced the historical research that he wanted to do before taking part in those roles. All right, the second part where he studied. He studied drama at Northwestern, and his first acting gig was Shakespeare's Antony and Cleopatra on stage in 1947. So his first real gig was a play, and from there he went into film acting. He studied at Northwestern drama, but he did not actually graduate. And this brings me to a list of other actors who did not um, either graduate from an acting school, who did not do any acting at all, but are still um, fantastic actors or mainstream type actors as well. So on that list, I have Matthew McConaughey, Mel Gibson, and Joaquin Phoenix, um, who are all, who have all, most of them have won a, some sort of award um, and are doing very great works, great projects, and they still have not studied or graduated specifically far from a film school. Another example would be like Adam Driver. Um, no, I'm wrong. He actually went to Juilliard. Never mind. Okay. So number three from that requirement list talking about values of Charlton Heston. So a lot of his values, I found there was an interview from a, a British TV series called Afternoon Plus Four in 1983, um, in which he spoke about the value of his work in regards to the public. So he, he quoted, we both, um, we and his wife, understand the, de the dependence on the public. He said, in your work, you have a particular kind of intimacy with people you work with, but it's a bit like the army, that when it is finished, you then go on to the next project. So in relationship to valuing, when he, as he values his work, he thinks about um, the relationship he has with the public, with his coworkers. He's had to learn how to be a public person properly, saying that the public has a certain proprietary right in a performer in a way that they, that they don't with a novelist or a painter. So he says that great parts are always the hardest. So he finds value in the hard roles that he takes. Um, another thing about him, I could, I literally looked on Google, um, Charles and Heston drama, and nothing came up. Drama as in gossip. So he was very clean cut. Um, his other roles include Omega Man, 
um, the greatest story ever told. So they're kind of all, they all have that same action adventure, historical or Western type of movie. So he had um, a pretty just clear cut relationship with coworkers with his film. And he was a, just a fantastic actor all around. So that is Charlton Heston.